Hi you guys, this lesson is on section 6.1 which is rate of change and slope. Okay, and the slope is also designated as M. You can see that. I don't know why they don't use an S, they use an M. Okay, so slope, otherwise known as M, is the steepness of a line. How steep a line is, okay? It, the way you find slope is by rise over run, or the vertical change over the horizontal change. And again, this triangle is a delta, which means change or the change in y over the change in x. And you're going to have to be careful about putting the change in y over the change in x later on, and I'll show you why. Okay, there's four types of slopes. There's a positive slope. Again, if you read it from left to right, you can see it goes upstairs or goes up, positive. That's a positive slope. If you're going from left to right and it goes down, that's a negative slope. If it stays across or it stays on the same level, the slope is zero, and a straight up and down vertical line is an undefined slope. You will always have a slope. Do not put no slope, okay? You either have a positive, negative, zero, or undefined slope, okay? The way these two people get mixed up, the way you can, one way you can remind it is a horizontal is zero. So you can see how I put the zero for horizontal. And then the undefined is the vertical. If you remember the RUCA, if you ever see the RUCA where they do the R-U-C-A, they use the V as a, as a U. I don't know, just some way you can remember that, okay? Um, another thing you need to remember, negative 1 over 2 is the same as 1 over negative 2, which is the same as negative 1 half. As long as there's only one negative, you can put it on the top or on the bottom, or on the left, and they're all equal to negative 0.5. Okay, so as we start doing slope, just remember that as long as you have one negative, the whole slope would be negative. Okay, so here's one part is finding the slope, or M, using graphs. Okay, using a graph. So I have four different examples here. Okay, remember slope is rise over run. Okay, so if I have two points here, um, I usually go from left to right, from, from the left point to the right point. You can go backwards if you want to, but rise over run. So if I'm going left to right, what I need to do is I rise one, two, three. I can see I went up three dots or three, three um, points, and I'm going to go over one, two. Okay, so you see that from here. Go up one, up two, up three, and then two. So my slope is rise three run two or three over two. Leave it as a um, improper fraction. Do not change it to a mixed number. Okay, do not change it to a decimal either. Leave it as a simplified improper fraction. Okay, so here's another example. My rise, I'm gonna go down one, two, three. So I went down negative three. In this case, I went up three and right to two. So in this case, I'm going down three and I'm gonna go over one, two, three, and then four. So I'm going to go over four. So you can see that my slope is going to be negative three over four. Okay, and, and again, you can tell a visual check, excuse me, it's a positive sloping line, so my slope should be positive. This one is going down into the right, which is a negative sloping line, so my slope should be negative, which it is. Okay, you might have... Um, a problem that looks like this, I'll come in closer, where they don't give you the dots. In these, I gave you the dots. They might not give you the dots here. So what you need to do is look for where the line would cross at certain vertexes right on. So I can see that over here, the negative 1, 1 would hit, and then 4, 4 would hit. And you might have to put your own dots like that. Okay. Now we find the slope. So we're going to rise 1, 2, 3. So I'm going up three, and then I'm going to run one, two, three, four, five, and I run five. So up three, run five, so my slope is going to be three over five. Do a quick check. It's a positive sloping line, and my slope is positive, so I'm okay. Okay, so um, just one way to check. If you wanted to go backwards, here's what you would do. You would go down one, down two, down three. That's negative three because you went down three. And then I go left one, two, three, four, five. I went left five, so it's negative five because I'm going left five. So my slope in that case would be negative three over negative five, 
which when I simplify it, would still come out to a positive 3 over 5. Okay, so again, you could go from right to left if you want to. I just always go from left to right to make it easier and just um, rise over run. Okay, they might give you a, a problem that looks like this, where they only give you the first quadrant. Okay, and as a reminder, um, this is quadrant 1 to the top right of the origin, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4. So again, 1, 2, 3, 4. This you can see is quadrant 1 because here's my origin and all the positive, positive. So when you start dealing with um, like hours worked, you cannot deal with negative hours worked or negative pay, negative hours, um, dollars earned. So they only use the first quadrant. If they give you this and they say find the slope or find the rate of change, okay, it's the change in Y over the change in the x-axis, again, so the vertical change over the horizontal change. But now you have to use the numbers. Make sure if they give you this, you use whatever units they give you. So in this, you can see it went from 0 to 200. So my vertical change was positive 200 because it went up 200. And I went over 2. Okay. So and if I simplify that, you can see I make $100. And if you use your units, it's dollars over hours. So it's $100 per hour. Okay. If you happen to use two different dots, so say you use from this dot to this dot. I can see I went from 200 up to 600, so my change was 400. Okay, But I can see my run this way goes from 2 to 6, which is going to be 4. Again, when you simplify, it still is going to come out to $100 per hour, because 400 divided by 4. Okay, so even if you use two farther apart dots, when you simplify, it should still come out to be the same. Okay, if I use these two dots, these two dots, or even if I use the farthest dots, when I simplify, 600, if I went from here to here, 600 over 6 would still come out to $100. Okay, so that's how you find the slope using a graph. The next way is going to be finding the slope using coordinates or points. Okay, so I have four different examples here. I'll walk through all of them. A reminder to find slope is change of y, or y2 minus y1, over change of x, which is x2 minus x1. The x2 is just saying like the, the second x minus the first x, and the sec y2 minus y1. That's all it's saying. But you can actually go either way. So when I do my change of y, I can actually go this way and go 1 slope 1 minus 7. Okay, I'll do it both ways for you here. If I went 7 minus 1, that would be the same thing. But if I go this way, when I do my x's, I want to go negative 2 minus 6. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll do, it. I'll do it horizontally so you can see. When I do 1 minus 7, that is equal to negative 6 over negative 8, which is equal to positive 3 over 4. Okay, so you see how my arrows are going. If I went the opposite way, I could go 7 minus 1 over, I went this way, 6 minus negative 2, which is actually becomes 6 plus 2, and I get 6 over 8, which is still comes out to 3 fourths. What you cannot do is go from the 1 to 7, and then when you do your x's, you cannot go backwards this way. You always have to go the same way. Okay. So if you notice, that's why I drew my arrows. Okay. And if you notice, I also put the y on the top and the x on the bottom because there's that common mistake I told you about at the beginning change of y goes on top not the first one people got a tendency to put the first one on top and the second one on the bottom but you can see I put the y on top so in this case when I go here again I put the y on top so I know it's um, slope 4 minus negative 2 okay or becomes 4 plus 2 and then when I do my x's, I put it on the bottom. Okay, so it becomes negative 1 minus 3. That becomes 6 over negative 4, which is going to simplify to negative 3 over 2. Okay. So that's how you do slope using two points. Okay, I have another example here. When I do this minus this, I go m is equal to 2 minus 2 over 
and when I do my x's, 1 minus 5. That becomes 0 over negative 4, and that equals to 0. My slope is 0. If I were to graph that really quickly, I would go 1 comma 2 over here, and then 5 comma 2, and I get a horizontal line. And if you remember horizontal, gave me a zero slope. Okay, so if you notice, the y coordinates, this y and this y, are the same. That's going to give me a horizontal line, which is going to give me a zero slope, because I'm not going up or down. Okay, here's my other example. If I go y minus y, I go negative 1 minus 4 over 6 minus 6, and I get negative 5 over 0. Okay, in this case, 0 on top divided by negative 4, you can do that and you get 0. If you go negative 5 divided by 0, you cannot divide by 0. And so therefore, your slope is going to be undefined. And you can abbreviate it as UNDEF. Sorry. Make it like that. Okay. And again, if I were to graph this, and I went 6, negative 1 was here, and then 6, positive 4 was here, you can see I have a vertical line and the vertical was undefined if you remember. Okay, so that's how you find slope using points or coordinates. If you notice, the x's were the same here. And if your x's are the same, you're going to get a vertical line because they're, um, the two dots are going to be right above each other. Okay, that's how you do those. Here's your homework check number one. Please, please find the slope of this line. Try to make it as big as I can. Okay, find the slope of that line. And that's homework check number one. Okay. Um, example. Here's another example from the homework that was kind of tricky, so I wanted to show you an example that looks like this. They gave you two points. They give you the slope, and they say find x. Okay, so all you do is you set up your equation. So if m is equal to 8 minus 3 over 2 minus x. Okay, but m over here you can see is negative 5 halves here. So I just go negative 5 over 2 is equal to 8 minus 3 is 5 over 2 minus x. And you can see I have a proportion. So all I do is I can cross multiply. There's various ways of solving this, but don't forget to put parentheses around this. So when I put the negative 5, I get 2 minus x is equal to 2 times 5, which is 10. When I distribute this, I get negative 10 plus 5x. Okay, Remember, the negative 5 times the negative x becomes plus 5x is equal to 10. I'm going to plus 10 to both sides, and I get 5x is equal to 20. I'm going to divide by 5, and x is equal to 4. So what this, sorry, so you can see it, x is equal to 4. So what you can tell, what you can see is, if I put a 4 in here, and I redid the slope, my slope would come out to negative 5 over 2. That's what it's looking for. Okay. Um, here is homework check number two. Please find the slope of these two points, negative 3 comma 2, negative 1 comma negative 4. Find the slope. Be careful. Make sure you do change of y over change of x. Okay, and for your homework, I do want to see the arrows so I can see that you're doing the y over the x. Again, a common mistake, too many people made this mistake of putting the x's over the y's. Okay, hope this helps. Take care, and I'll see you later.